Okay, hello, my name is Bill Ricketts. And I'm Chris Ricketts. Our experiment was to see which had more pressure, Alka-Seltzer and Diet Coke, or Mentos and Diet Coke. Uh, my hypothesis to begin with was uh, Diet Coke would create more pressure. My hypothesis oh, was... and that Mentos. My hypothesis, ah! was, my hypothesis was that Alka-Seltzer and Diet Coke would have a bigger reaction than Mentos and Diet Coke. So, these are our ingredients. We had two bottles. Uh, both filled with Diet Coke, equal amounts. We dumped a, uh, two grams of Alka-Seltzer inside one, then two grams of Mentos inside one. Then we put the balloon on top, then we, measure, then we put the tape measure around the balloon to see which had more, uh, more of a reaction to pressure. Well, first, I'm going to measure out and put 480 milliliters of Diet Coke in each bottle. And yeah. as I'm doing this, I, uh, I forget you tell <laughs> And now that we have our fluid inside our bottles, we're going to test Alka-Seltzer, then Mentos, and see what has more pressure. And here we go. Hold on. And see how it gets an immediate reaction. And now that it looks like it is stopping, I will measure it. And it measures to about 28 centimeters. Okay, now we're going to do Diet Coke and Mentos. My hypothesis is this is going to be better, but uh, you'll see. With the magic of time-lapse technology, ta-da, we can get it where, it, where the Mentos will eventually react, but it's pathetic compared to the, uh, the Alka-Seltzer. Let's see what we got. Yeah. We got about 15, 15.6 centimeters, which is dwarfed by the uh, Alka-Seltzer. So. Alright. Well, we've disproved that Diet Coke and Mentos creates a very violent reaction. And Alka-Seltzer creates a bigger reaction than Mentos, because you see a Mentos is smaller than Alka-Seltzer. Alka-Seltzer rules. I'm, I'm, I'm Chris Ricketts. And I'm Bill Ricketts. And, and this, this myth, myth has been, been busted. busted. Yeah!